dead or alive. This idea of this romanticizing and sort of eroticizing of the relationship of women in horses is pervasive in our culture. My mom's always had a love for horses and so have I. And I started out just pleasure riding. And then when I was 10, I got started with the rooftop rodeo. Oh my dear, when he's near, I just feel like passing out. So big and strong. I so loved equine necropsy. When there was another dead animal, I wasn't so excited. But when it was a horse, Almost as much fun as being with a live horse because it's, I'm learning something about a horse. The horse is almost always coded as male, whether it's in advertising or if you read an article on like how to trim a hoof, it's always his hoof. The women 99.9% .9 of the time are white. They have long flowing hair and they're tall and thin and they're made up. There were a lot of female peers in vet school because veterinary medicine, some of you probably know this, is now 90% women. Most of the time you wouldn't curl your hair when you go and brand cattle. We're kind of the spokespeople. And that's part of the thing as Miss Rodeo Colorado and a rodeo queen is you're supposed to be an ambassador and spokesperson to the Western way of life. It's come up a lot about the similarity, maybe even a connection between women and horses and their um, vulnerability with horses as a prey animal. We live in a culture where, um, you know, whether it's real or not, women often feel as if they're prey, you know, the fear of the night, the fear of being alone, and that there might be something, whether it's conscious or not, that women can tap into because of the social world rather than biology. This constant sort of rendering of women and horses in this romantic way that we have, or erotic way, I think it does something to sort of almost make a mockery of women's relationships with horses or render women's relationships less authentic than men's. Have you ever had some really, really bad balls off your horse? <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess you're not a good horse person until you have a really good ball. I actually had one last summer. I ended up in the hospital, and I ended up um, having a couple surgeries from it. And so, but I got back on like four or five days after. Girls love to hug horses, and horses don't. They don't want to be hugged. It's weird. And um, so he's always like doing this, and I was always hugging him. And um, then the, the French kissing the other one. I mean, they don't. <laughs> Horses don't kiss you back, but they, <laughs> they smell great.